This bare bones tutorial will show you how to make a simple mesh edit mod for Neo 2. I'll be assuming you're somewhat familiar with installing mods and using Blender, so make sure you have Mod Enabler and Blender installed. You'll also need the 3D Mikoto add-on for Blender. Specifically, the edited version for Neo 2. Links are down below. Once you're ready, open up Neo 2 and equip or find the meshes you want to edit. In my case, I'll be editing the Merchant Armor. Now we need to dump the meshes from the game. Browse to your Neo 2 mod folder and create a new .ini file. I'll name mine dump. Open it up and type this stuff in. Open the game again and type 0 on your numpad to open Mod Enabler's hunting mode. You might need to toggle your numlock. Pressing 1 and 2 on your numpad now will cycle between pixel shaders. Cycle between them until the meshes you want to edit disappear. Once you find the right pixel shader, press 3 on your numpad to copy the hash to your clipboard. Paste it right here in your any file. In my case I need to repeat these steps for the boots and headband. Make sure to use unique names for each entry in your any file. Save your any file after you're done. In game, press F10 to refresh your mods, press 0 to reopen hunting mode, and then press F8. This will dump everything to a folder in your game directory. Now open up Blender, go to File, Import, and click 3D Mikoto Frame Analysis Dump. Navigate to the latest frame analysis folder inside your Neo 2 directory. You can leave the settings as they are. Select everything and click Import. Go ahead and make your edits now. Once you're done, select all of your meshes, go to File, Export, and click 3D Migoto Neo 2 Mod. Make a new folder in your mods directory for your mod. You can keep these settings default except for the mod name. It's important to type in a unique name if you want to avoid conflicts with other mods. Click export and wait a couple years for it to finish. Go back into your game and press F10 to refresh your mods. Press F2 to toggle them on or off. You can see your edits now. Hopefully this gets you started, check out the links below for more guides.